Oh, they just the cutest thing since sliced bread or sliced cheese. They're too Gouda for me. Yeah, whatever, guys. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. You know you like that joke. I see my bitches have you smiling. Go ahead and become my best friend. Hey, guys. So, about last Sunday. Ha, ha, ha. Anyway. Um, shit, what about this Sunday? That's not what this video is about. Oh well, maybe, maybe something magical will happen at the end during this next, this week, this coming Sunday. That's what it's called, right? This coming Sunday! Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Coming to a YouTube near you. Whatever. Anyway, so, as you guys may know, or may not know, I don't smoke weed. So, this comment that I get all the time, absolutely ridiculous, absolutely funny to me, but sometimes annoying because, you know, well, I don't smoke weed. Or do any drug. This is just natural. Welcome to Breland. What up, page reference? Sup? Anyway, so apparently what I was wearing today when I went to the shop at or the gas station as you would call it uh, attracted an older male of the, the Caucasian descent and he was like, oh man, what's up? And you know, he was wearing his work clothes like, like he had a polo shirt and khakis on so I know he was like totally just getting off work and he's like, oh man, what are you listening to? And, like, he really said it like that. Like, I'm not exaggerating. He was like, oh, what are you listening to? And I was like, oh, you know, Sugar Ray. And he's like, oh, that's old school. You know, I have to be, oh, I won't say, but to listen to Sugar Ray. And then he's like, all I will say, elbow, elbow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Really? Anyway, he was like, all I will say is that it's legal in Colorado. And you know what I said? It's not legal on base. Now, we'll pause here for a minute, and <laughs> the dilemma is, is that I want to be friendly and nice and polite, so I just made a joke back to him, but I guess that insinuates that I actually do said activity, whatever. I befriend a lot of potheads, though. Potheads are cool with me, because they're funny. They're dope. Don't fall asleep on me. Well, you know what? As long as they don't fall asleep on me, I'm cool with them. Don't fall asleep with sleep on me, because then I'm like, I think I need to go home. Anyway, I'll insert a picture of what I was wearing that made this guy, I think, automatically think I was like a stoner when he came up to me. Because I was looking at snack foods at that. I'll get to that at the end. Anyway, so picture go now. Alright, so. Uh, did you think that that made me look like a stoner? I don't think it made me look like a stoner. I mean, besides the fact that I sometimes will talk like I'm from California, I guess, or like the West Coast, I don't know. I like to say dude, mad, wicked, cool, you know, wicked, cool, right on. Very popular catchphrases with me, I'm just saying. Anyway, I am talking really fast. I should slow down some. And now you're not saying anything. Slow enough? Okay, cool. Anyway. Now, I'm not exactly mad about it, I'm just a little tired of it, which is not an insult, that just means I'm a really chill person. FYI, you should tweet me, we should do something fun with them, just saying hashtag does this make me look like a stoner. You know, I'm just gonna say, that's gonna be the hashtag for this video. Might even be the title. Yeah, I'm gonna make it the title. Anyway, um... Hey, remember this from the MySpace days? How you used to take pictures like this? Yeah, I still take my pictures like this, but not so high up, just slightly at an angle. <laughs> no longer up here looking at the ceiling. No. More, more down here. Anyway. <laughs> I'm not, uh, I'll leave it in, whatever, don't care. Anyway, back to the point, stoner. Yeah, I get mistaken for a stoner a lot. 
So, because I'm mistaken for a stoner, I decided to learn a lot about weed from my stoner friends, so at least when people come up to me, I can make weed jokes and not have done it. Isn't that amazing? I will do weed jokes galore. Why? Because people mistake me for a stoner. And also, I befriend the weed heads. They're funny people. Don't judge them, okay? They are hilarious, and you will get into some deep conversations. You might like them. You might laugh at them a lot. It's kind of like 40-year-old virgin, virgin meets Pineapple Express without all the running around of Pineapple Express. It's not as dangerous. Good stuff. Yeah, that eyebrow thing. You like that. Anyway, I will see you guys. Why am I singing? I will see you guys next video. Since this is the end of the video, I will tell you about a blog that I'm working on with my best friends. I have my best friend Mariah. Maybe I'll insert a picture of all three of us and you can figure out which is which later. But, um... Yeah, my best friend Mariah and my best friend Maddie, or a.k.a. Maddiekins. What up, Maddiekins? You're not going to watch this video. I already know it. You're not watching it as is. Mmm, hey, girl, hey. So you won't mind the picture I put up because you're up over a bowl. Anyway. Ooh. Yep. Anyway, so a link to my my new blog with my friends which is kind of like my portion is comedy I think my friend Mariah's will be fashion I'm not quite sure what Maddie will do but hopefully it's all around just good times and good stories um, I think it's blog blogspot.com slash adventures of or diary of a fat yeah blah, blah, blah. I think it's uh blogspot.com slash adventures no it's not adventures is it hashtag stoner moment blogspot.com uh slash diary of a fat girl adventures i think that's what the, oh god i should have thought about it before i made that url but it gets the point across. You have fashion adventures, you have things that has happened and maybe in like news with vo bigger voluptuous women in society or whatever maybe. <laughs> Mine will just be me talking about funny stuff that happens. Like today I was making tea and warming up my steak and potatoes with cheese on them. Delicious by the way. And I thought about the ice cream in the freezer and I had a moment where I was like I could totally just eat the ice cream and then eat the steak and potatoes hashtag diary of a fat girl and that's basically how I would sign out on it but uh, I just put it up and there's only one one uh, blog up there right now but there is more to come don't worry about it guys it's coming at you really fast really hard that's what she said. Alright, breezy out. Oh, subscribe. This is this. This is this. This is this. This is this. This is this.